Hey everybody, welcome back. Alright, let's continue. So as you probably recall, we lost Darren in the last episode. He took a cleaver to the face. It was not pretty. But, he was, in, in the time that he served with us, he was quite impressive. And uh, I need to get my mind sense going. He was quite impressive. And you know that I, I don't normally praise Darren all that much. So any praise is in fact high praise. Alright, I think... Yeah. This is just this gate over here. I'm gonna head back this way. I want to clear some space here if I can. There we go. Whoa! Extremely aggressive. Oh no, not good. There we are. I saw that cleaver and I started started thinking about Darren. Got distracted. So we're thinking about our fallen comrade. Come over here. Come on. You can do it. Come around the corner. There you go. Oh, I thought he had gotten free of it. So you're forcing me to come to the choke point. Clever girl. I'm afraid it's not going to help you. Okay, come on. It's, something is stopping us from walking there. I think it was this leg, possibly. Get you out of the way. Yeah. Let's let's that's let's not do that. All right. This takes us around to the brewery, if you will. Whatever that you know, whatever that might be. That goes back to where we were before, or no it doesn't, this will take us to the third floor. I'd rather go to the catacombs though, to be honest. So there's still a few other places we could explore here. I usually just get out of here quickly, but let's just grab some of this stuff. Make sure we click on the lore, get the global XP, and uh, grab this key here. Whoops. That there, this one, I don't know what's up with that key, so I'm just going to put it over there. There is a sphere, always a good find, of course. Um, I don't know if I want to use it on the short sword again, or on the long sword. Um, probably on the long sword. So that'll look a little more sweet and have some slightly better stats. All right. Just want to make sure we're not missing anything in here. Pretty sure there's nothing, yeah. Alright. So this is another good reason not to 
just go to the third floor at the first available opportunity because there's multiple enemies to take down over here, but also there is a half health salve. Let's see, did I skip one? No. Move that out of the way. Grab that. Excellent. All right, more company. I like the stab followed by the overhead combo. I do enjoy that very much. Leave that open. Note that is regular trousers. All right, we've skilled up. Um, we're probably going to need to work on. Let's see, we have coherence and inversion. What is the other one? Is it union that we're also going to need? can't recall. I never can. So we're working on trust. I don't remember what the next one is going to need. Um, well, let's work on... Let's actually work on dual wielding. Try to make this interesting. Soon enough we won't have to worry about the torch. Indeed, one fine day. Alright, restroom is there. Alright, so I think. Oops, I think we're going this way. Yeah. So this will take us uh, to the left over there. That'll take us to the catacombs. That earlier exit that I did not go to would have taken us directly to the third floor. But even if you go directly to the third floor, you can go a hop, skip, and a jump, and you're in the catacombs. So it's not a big deal which one you go through, really. All right. As usual, I only go to the catacombs for one reason, and that is to get this chest over here. We've just learned trust. Now we want to work on loyalty, which needs continuity, and we have that. All right, so we're good. Once we have loyalty, we can get ourselves a minion to replace the Darren that we have lost. And I did say the Darren, yes. He is an archetype. It's more than an individual. Okay. Let's not fall off of this. That would be a stellar plan, I think. Alright, here's the chest that I mentioned. Alright. Unfortunately, we can't take the wonderful Curus. However... There is this one-handed sword, and as you can see, the stats are just slightly better on Slash, but not as good on Thrust, so I'd honestly... <laughs> we didn't even need to come here, I'm just going to stay with that homemade sword. Alright, you know, it's been a really long time since I've fought this skeleton in the graveyard. I don't know if they fixed the bug, because I haven't tested it. But there used to be a bug here where there's a some pre-dug graves. And the one that the skeleton is usually in when you go over there, or near, if you crouch while standing in it, like if you're fighting and you're standing in it and you crouch, uh, you would fall through the world, and that was not very good. So I just have to remember not to do that. 
uh, there's a skeleton over there. So this is the grave I was talking about. He's usually over here, but not a big deal. The fight somehow inevitably ends up in one of these graves. You know what I should do? That's what I should do. Oh man, that was terrible. That was terrible. I should not have picked this fight. Oh man, I got stuck there. There's so much debris. Eh. It's very appropriate that we ended up there, but we're actually not dead. However, the skeleton might be waiting for us, and he will kill us the instant we get up. We can only hope that he's not aware of what's happening. So I'm going to try my damnedest to get this health regen going. And I don't know where my weapon is. What's up there? Alright, so, this is actually fantastic. This I, I don't see the skeleton. So this gives us some time to get this health back. However, I, I don't want to just stand here forever. <laughs> Part of me wants to get moving, but it could be a really dumb move. We'll take it slow. Get my mind sense back on. Uh, look at this. What did we get again? We got calm and trust. I guess I could potentially try trust on him. That would give me enough time to get around him, maybe. Why did I pick that fight? That was so dumb. I was not ready for that. All right, so there, that was the spot where we put the board across. So it looks like we've got, looks like we've got a relatively clear shot here. There's going to be one more skeleton, but I don't think he's, he's either not armored or he's not as armored as that other one. I should give myself a little more time to get more health, but we're gonna be reckless. And I'm gonna try trust. That way we can just get past him and go to the third floor. So not only did we not benefit from the chest, the only reason I went there, but we also took some unbelievable damage from an enemy that I didn't need to fight. There must be a lesson or two in there somewhere. Okay. Alright, so our health is climbing back up to a more acceptable range now. I like that. There's a cleaver. This fight is for Darren. Whoops. There we go. Oh man, I missed. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Just keep missing. There we go. So anyway, we are now very close to finding a replacement, basically, for our torch. It's not a torch, but it's going to make it so that we don't need the torch anymore. And I'm actually going to grab it before we fight that dude, because we still need a little bit of time for health regen. So we just double click there. Alright. And there is 
You know what just occurred to me, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> it did not occur to me until just now that I can't wear this helmet. Because it's armor. I'll put it in my inventory, because the, I assume the jury is still out. I guess we'll hash it out in the comments. But, uh, I don't think I can wear that. I don't think I can wear that. Which means I have to keep using this torch forever. Essentially. I've never been so depressed. <laughs> Okay. Well, that's alright. It's a good thing that the torch never burns out. I'm sure it will one day. But until then, I'm just going to enjoy it being eternal. Alright, anything else in there? No. And yes, there's something here. Come on, please. Uh... Nothing really good. Whoops. And there's nothing in there. Okay. Well, we've got company here. Oh, super aggressive. All right. Is there anybody else up here? Don't think so. I'm going to go back this way. Whoa. Well. Let's see what the stats are. Impact is better. Balance is not as good. Slash is much better. Thrust is the same. Hmm. I like I like the the higher balance. I like that. I think we're gonna once again stick with that homemade weapon there. Well, homemade, not really the correct term, but hopefully you know what I mean. Okay. Just gonna stumble around drunkenly here for a moment. Oh. Man, I'm, st <laughs> I'm still thinking about the sea in the dark helmet and how I didn't realize that I couldn't wear it until I had picked it up and it was staring me in the face. You know what I would like to find on this run? I don't know why, I'm just feeling it, I'm in the mood for it, I would like to find a flail. I don't know why, I don't know where it came from, but I'm just suddenly, you know, feel like I could do some serious damage with a flail. Oh, come on. I guess we have been falling behind on the daily faceplant quota. I think it's because this ponytail helps it to, to be like a counterweight Why else would you have one? Alright. That's a cool shield. I don't know if a shield counts as... I mean, it's defensive, but it's not, it's not armor. Is that the Proctor? 
Uh, no, that's not the Proctor. I thought I saw a yellow shirt. I think it's orange or something. Make sure no one's behind me. Excellent. All right, so this is where we're going to end this episode. As always, thank you guys for hanging out. I really do appreciate it. And uh, please hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.